Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright folks, we're back here with week three of season two of uh, WWE 2K24 My GM Mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming Channel. Welcome. If it's your first time checking things out, please hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know for all our uh, gaming content that comes around here. Good to see you here today, Cabrid. Uh, good to see everybody here as we're checking out live on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And uh, yeah, as we're, when we were here last week, we had a little bit of a conglomeration of matches here. We got a few extra rivalries I didn't really expect. Uh, we, we're starting to build some up to the pay-per-view. Uh, we're starting to get our main event put together with uh, Becky Lynch and Cora Jade. As we uh, get, like I said, as we get close to the pay-per-view, PLE, sorry. Uh, we should be able to get a little bit more forward with that. Plus... We got some other feuds that are starting to build up here, but you know what? I could yap about this all week. Let's get it here and take a look. All right, so. The two things I promised, Cora J's got a winner next match. I do have a uh, must win card. Promise good through a rematch against Carmelo Hayes in the two weeks. I might even do that this week. Have your most popular available female face and heel fight each other this week. What are you going to give me? Hell Spa 3. Okay. I, I think we might be able to do that. For show logistics, what do we got here? We can, we can do everything. We got four assets, which if we do anything now, we basically won't be able to do anything for the rest of the... Uh, rest of the... Till next PLE. You know what? Let's book the show first before we start looking at some of this stuff. Because we could actually do some good stuff. We might end up doing some bad stuff here. So uh, let's see here. We can do Gunter and he wants Hayes. So we can give him Hayes. Let's just let's book the stuff they think we think we have to do here. Um, I think we'll be able to do that match. That was what I've been looking for for a while. We're just going to leave that as a regular match because I want to set this up for later. Uh, what else can we get? What else do we have left here? Let's check out the stamina here because that's probably one of the. We got Jerry and Ilya who. Ilya's got. Okay, so you know what? We'll. I'll keep Corbett and Stacks off the card. So before I do anything, let's get that one working here. Corbett's got a two. Stacks got a two. Let's get Corbett calling out Stacks here. For some reason, I just feel that that might work. See if we can book a nice tag team here as we go along here. Said Jerry out as a heel. He could team up with Dirty Dom. So we got a fighter and a cruiser. We already have a fight with him, so we'll just do that and then. Rollins is at a 60, so 
Their stamina should be okay there. And maybe we'll do a tri- I'm always doing a triple threat with the ladies, so... Who do we have left here? Or is this the one that we bring in a sucker to beat Cor for Cora Jade to beat? I think that's what we might do here in this case. Let's see what we can get here. Christina Fury's a row, but she would cost money. Precious silver. I only need somebody for a week, so. Just to make sure I have this. Fix match. There we go. That's the one I need. Um, let's... Oh, I was going to check what Jade... I was going to check what Jade was. That's what it was. So Cora Jade is a fighter. So she needs to take out a face. What do I have for cruisers right now? Okay. Oh, class. That's what I needed. Cruiser, cruiser, female. I guess Scarlet and her could go at it for a bit. Would be nice to get Scarlet. Well, Scarlet and uh, Ivy are still matched up as a group, but... You know what? We might have to actually spend sub to just see if I can. So what's Cora again? She's a fighter, so I need a bruiser. This is going to cost me four points and a thousand bucks. Ha! Nothing available. Let's go for five thousand. There we go. Oh, it's because Ava's already, uh... I could pick up Ava for cheap. Or I could pick up Lula for cheap too. Chat, help me out here. Do we want to go with Ava? Who has a new perk available so she gets a specialized match. Three out of five on the mic. Or we could go with Lula Tandy who we had here before. Horrible on the mic. But she's also level five as well. So we go with the street punk or we could go with. Go with Ava. All right. So we'll side Ava. Maybe we could get this going for a few weeks here. So let's get this new perk put in. She's losing anyway in this match, so. False count anywhere, last man standing. Better on the stick, yeah. So I can throw a promo at any time with her. That works for me. That actually makes a lot of sense, Zodiac. I think for this one, because I don't do many last man standing matches, I'll go with the false count anywhere special. 
So now we can book this show without... We'll get Cora Jaded there versus... Ava. Just a regular match. Nothing great. All right, let's see how we're going to do this here to make this any better. That's the Rosalva rivalry, so we're not going to do that. One thing I think we will do here just to spice things up here, we'll make this a title match. Is there any specialties here? Oh. Check the stamina here. 90, 87, 75, 60. Yeah, they're all good. So we'll do a tornado tag. Whoo, this is going to be interesting. All right. We could do a backstage brawl. Would cost me 75 grand. I, I want to do it for a rivalry that's going to work. Maybe do a false count anywhere match. Do I want to put the titles on them? That's the question. You know what? I'm not... I'm going to foobar this up a little bit here. Instead of a tornado tag, we're going to do a fatal four-way. With these four. And I'm going to put it for the uh, intercontinental. <laughs> that way... We can spice it up a different way here, right? So... The other way we'll do this here, we'll put that there. I think we might do this. Then for the rest of these. Advertising MVP, that'll work there. And then charity promo with Scarlet. Zodiac, if you're watching here, what is there anything you would change about this at all? I think the title match might actually help it. Help this uh, boost this up a bit. Yeah, Cora and Ava. I got to fix the match for that, so that's going to be garbage. So that's pretty much a guarantee. I think that's pretty much all we have to do here at this point. Like a world title? <laughs> uh... I could put the Becky one on, but I, I don't want Becky to lose it right now. I want to see if I can get Becky at uh So I fixed it so Cora will win that, so that's how that works. These ones are good for now. Uh, look at this. We could... Because this is just a regular... Uh, this is a regular SmackDown. Uh, next Friday's the go home show or next Wednesday will be the go home show and next Saturday's the PLE. So I think this is probably where we're going to end up here. Just want to take a look one more time here. What I'll do is probably switch. Yeah, do the women in the middle and then. Yeah, because I think this one won't get as many stars as this will because it's crowding a title. So 
I think we got her. Let's just see. Can I? They're all 200,000. I want to see what. Show quality at 14%. Show cost competition 2%. Unlocks no holds barred. Fourteen percent quality, two more, two thousand more fans, and opens up the casket match. And then if I do this one, fourteen percent quality, four more thousand, and special guest referee. <sighs> so I get about a three percent boost here. Basically, they're all 3% boosts. It's just what match do I want to open up? Casket? More pyro? You know what? We're almost out of money here, but that's okay. Yeah, let's do it. So down to 94,000. Show cost 25. I don't need to get any extra stupid with cost. This is a fixed match, so I don't even have to, we're not gonna be able to watch it. I think we're good. We'll see how things go, I guess. Is there any other stipulation I can do with the? Yeah, I think we'll, I think that's the only other addition I'll do. I have tables match that. So we're not sitting here for a week to try to wait for this bitch to finish. All right. I've helped it hard. Let's get this done. So now as we check things out, we have to check the other brands out because we're in a snake format. And this is an even numbered show overall. So we got to check what everybody else has done first. Sheamus and Priest once again for the ECW TV Championship. Priest retains in a four-star match. Briggs calls out uh, Garza and nope. Rousey and Niven versus the Ray and Bright Star, one of their new stars. Rousey and Niven. Rivalry goes to level two at a three-star match. Miz gets himself over a little bit. Hartwell Davenport. All right, let's see how this goes. Two and a half stars. So she, they booked this perfectly for themselves. Nice promo by Aladon. All right, I like that. A tag team tables match. Logan Paul and Angel Garza versus Tyler Bate and Julius Creed. Will we see a new... Oh, the... Four-star match, but the titles weren't on the line. All right. WCW didn't even use their own blo whole blocks again. What a bunch of dubbies. For the WCW Tag Team Championships, Finn Balor and Elton Prince taking on Big E and Johnny Gargano, crowning new champions. Finn Balor and Elton Prince, the new champs. Elton Prince, one of the stars of our series one. Gigi Dolan does not get herself over. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, let's go. One, two, that's three. Bell. And McIntyre wins again. Three and a half star match, all right. Tiffany calling out Gigi. At least Tiffany was able to get something out of that. And then we got Raquel Rodriguez taking on Alexa Bliss. One half of the women's tag champs is Raquel. It's over. Hit the bell. Alexa beats the one half of the champs. Three and a half star match. Okay. And they're made of head for the heavyweight championship. Bukatsi versus Mr. Kerry Cross. Bukatsi rotates in a four and a half star match. You suck. Monday Night Raw. Shayna Baszler taking out Carmella at opening contest. Two. That's three. Let me hear the bell. 
Three and a half stars. Good job. Tag team call up. This is brand new this year. And I really enjoy the fact that it does work. Sometimes it'll jump you up two points, not just one. I just saw that WoW is on in about 25 minutes. Dare I watch? Why not? Could be worse. Maybe. So Otis taking on Shinsuke Nakamura non title. I would say. Oh, they got a rivalry going at least, so that's a bonus. Chapa calling up, doing some charity work. Good job for him. Strawberry Jimmy Uso, one on one. Two and a half stars, all right. Our truth, excellent. And in our main event, Meachin, Bailey, and Molly Holly for the World Women's Championship. Molly Holly is their new champion in a four star match. All right. Well, so we're here for this is our opening match up here. I didn't want to put the title on the line because. I want to save this feud for another day. This is my penultimate. This is what I want to get for WrestleMania if all things go well. Because JC, frankly, I think would be great in that role as uh, our champion going up against Bailey or Becky later. Let's go take a look. Basically, this is gave me a Hell Spa 3 card, which that will be helpful. So I wonder what the advanced pyro looks like now. Some of the crowd are even booing her. That sucks. But uh, yeah, if you, if you check out WoW at the top of the hour, like, I don't know. Ever since Tessa Blanchard was involved, I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. Making her way to the ring from Dublin. So basically my, or sorry, uh, basically my goal after this is since Cora Jade won, she's going to call out Becky Lynch saying, I won, I deserve the shot at the title. That's going to be our main event of the pay-per-view. Unless Paul Heyman screws us up. And from Tampa, Florida. Like respectfully, I'd like to. I don't know if I saw that fog there before. So that must be the advanced effects they were talking about when we got the, uh, got the extra package. So good on you, Zodiac. That was a great call. So just for the record, we will only have three matches to watch today because anytime you pick fi fix match, uh, it automatically goes to result. You're not allowed to watch. There we go. Title, non-title contest, JC Jade. Coming out here, just wanted to face Becky Lynch and show her what she's made of. Shot to the back of the leg, but... to say in terms of the discourse right now when it comes to wrestling overall one of the things I laugh about the most these days and this comes off the heels of uh, Fightful Select sitting out a report this week that Natalia has apparently re-signed with the company it has done so a couple weeks ago 
my feeling is a lot of people were upset with the WWE draft when they had that uh, Raw SmackDown NXT draft where because of the lack of movement between people throughout it uh Bex your physics are a little off there uh but yeah like everybody was complaining there was, there was such lack of movement and everybody was just re-upping their own picks for the most part there were pieces that moved across don't get me wrong but at the same time everybody was expecting all these dramatic moves back and forth well now you're looking at draft expanded aka everybody going at it in terms of cml and jpw tna aw like everybody and you're not seeing a lot of overall movement a lot of people resigning a lot of people enjoying what they already have yeah uh srs dropped a dropped a fightful article maybe around five o'clock eastern today i was reading it near the end of my work day here and i i don't think people realize that you're not going to see as much movement as you think you're going to see Like personally I expect a lot of a lot of the little pieces to move around like I, eventually I do expect to see Dijak move into whether it be a new Japan or a WWE or whatnot but as far as I'm concerned get on the indies and make the money you can right now Because while Tony Khan will allow you to do work on the indies, uh, you are rather limited in terms of your dates and whatnot, so. But then you hear the story of the Border City Machine Guns. Apparently, they were facing each other at Prestige last night, and then it appears that they're probably WWE bound. Hope she'll turn up in TNA, have that match with Jordan. It, w it would be a missed opportunity if they didn't. Jade almost gets the three there. Boot right to the face. JC Jade pins the WWE Women's Champion. Let's go. It looks like we might end up getting a four way at the pay per view. No, no, that we'll, we'll save this. We'll, we'll bottle this up and use it later. But I wonder what kind of score we're going to get here because, yeah. This was not expected whatsoever. Three stars, okay. I don't expect that second match to be much better. Hot result, exactly. That is an upset. Because right now, JC has a few with Lula Tandy, and uh, Becky has one with Cora Jade. Which actually, this makes a lot of sense how you can book it now. MVP loses two popularity, but gets me 10 grand. I like it. Cora Jade versus Ava Moreno. We have, we know Cora's winning it. Just make it a two-star match. Perfect. Just what I wanted. You put it as a two-star match here, and it doesn't outshine the opener, and it also gets me the results I need to set up the promo for next week. Scarlet. Our 4,500 fans for the charity promo. I love it. Now, this match here was requested by Gunter after Seth Rollins and Kamara Hayes defeated... Uh, who was it there? It was... 
Gunter and Baron Corbin in our main event last week. So, Gunter demanded this match against Hayes, even though Rollins got the cover. So, it actually, you wonder, is Gunter dodging the check, dodging of Rollins? Can't say I blame him, but. The following contest is a count anywhere match. Making his way to the ring. In the Falls Count Anywhere stipulation, I just wanted to have fun with it. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Because the funny thing is, Gunther doesn't have a rivalry going on here with anyone currently. So maybe we can get one set up with Mello. Even if we do, I don't think that's the one we're gonna burn off at the pay-per-view. Like J uh, Cora Jade and uh, Becky Lynch is gonna be our main feud that we're gonna burn off at the pay-per-view. Barring any real setbacks from uh, any of our compatriots. But I do need to set up some tag champs, so if Heyman pulls his, uh... Heyman's got this card where he can automatically strip three of our champions from being on a card. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Love the shirt, love the shirt. I hate the fact with Mello that he was a heel leaving NXT and he just turned into a face coming coming into WWE like I would have loved him to have a little bit more of a a slower bird on the fact that he was a heel still But hell, let's face it, that two hours of work, you, not a lot of people are getting enough work anyway, so. This should be a fun match regardless. I know the next show we're gonna have to go pretty bare bones because I'm gonna need to save up that money for the uh, PLE branding. I think it's fifty thousand. The only thing we're gonna have to worry about is getting Ava Moreno uh, a little less upset. We just had her rank up and. The fact we brought her in for five weeks sort of helps too, but. We'll see what kind of money we have going forward. We might be able to do something a little better in terms of bringing somebody in. Ref, get over there. Referee way out of position. False cut anywhere, ref. Make sure you're around. Now Hayes is split open. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the stipulations low right now just for the fact that I want to keep... Uh, I want to keep everybody in the best shape I can right now. It 
Slammed down the ring apron there. Good old fashioned eye rake here. Once again, everybody, thank you for checking things out. Whether you check it out live here on the old uh, Twitch channel or else you're checking this out on our YouTube channel. Uh, for those that are watching on Twitch, our YouTube replays are available every Tuesday and Friday from the previous show. So if you need to catch up, that's the way to do it. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to catch it live, it is available every uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Well, most of them following AEW Dynamite Collision. Uh-oh, got caught. Powerbomb! That should be it. There it is. Gunter with a powerbomb to finish it off. Just as he wanted. Here is your winner. Gunter! Give him the title like he's supposed to have. stars we just screwed up our booking at least we got a rivalry going and that promo did absolutely nothing for that great all right our main event it's got some work to do to live up to that one a tables match for the intercontinental championship geriatric Ilya dragonov Dominic Mysterio and Seth freaking Rollins. Now I need it to be four stars or higher, which I don't think is going to happen. So we're probably going to get dinged for a bad bell curve here. I can live with one ding every once in a while, but. I love how geriatric got the stacks with slacks entrance and everything. Is a fatal four-way tables match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 122 pounds, Jerry. This could be also a spoof on that gimmick where the one wrestler plays seven different roles. Because uh, Geriatric and Stax with Slacks are basically the same guy with a different costume on and, you know, Stax wears glasses. Which these days really doesn't mean a whole lot, but... I am really liking how much, how little delay I'm getting on the streams now. Dragon off just going ape nut right now. And his opponents first from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. Ilya. I'm pretty sure that pose by Dragonov is going to be the thumbnail for this episode. I think we might see who the winner is first and then we can go from there. But realistically, what I probably could have done here, and I don't think I would have known any better, is move that uh, Jade and Becky match the third to have the Carmelo and Guter match open, but I did not expect that to get as well as it did.
at least he's got that look. Like he knows he's getting a title tonight. And then here comes Dom Dom. This might be the only way we get to see him here as of uh, as of soon here. Because I think mommy's got a few words for him. And representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in. Oh, uh, by the way, if anybody here uh, plays 2K24 and they play my faction mode, don't forget to check out the uh, the free locker code that comes up when you load up. I believe it's Supercard 2K24 is the locker code. Get you a free pack of uh, Sapphire cards for your deck, so. I can't play this game worth two cents, so that's why I don't really play a lot of... A lot of my faction. I like to do the strategy thing where I think a lot here. Problem is, I'll overthink on some stuff, so. He's holding the ropes for mommy, aww. Wonder if Dom will ever take that scarf off for the match. Or is he just going to wear that all day? There we go. That's the expanded pyro we paid for. So yeah, if you're wondering, we don't, we cannot play the entrance music due to... the constant pyro that we're getting right now this is pretty cool i'm hoping this all pays off in the end with the extra buildup that we got because eventually i do want to build up enough money so we can pick up one of the bigger venues as much as i love wrestling in the cwc i'd rather I'd rather actually get in a real stadium. Not that we need a stadium every show, but... I'm just hoping we made enough money back to earn our way... to save ourselves some, uh... Like have a decent card next week. Next week, I think we stay pretty, pretty quiet in terms of booking. We're gonna get that Cora Jade call up promo on Becky Lynch. We'll see if the game lets us do exactly what we should be doing. Oh, 
Jerry the doll, bring the bring the ladders in. Or bring the tables in, sorry. This could be the fastest match in history right now. Four guys in a ring during a tables match? That's not a good thing. Just for the fact we could end just at a win. Last time we had a tables match, somebody clipped the... Oh, I thought we were going to end it there. Good. Keep it down. I need this to last a while. I need the stars to get up for it. So if we end up uh, with Geriatric or Ilya getting the uh, getting the title, I guess that'll be our feud going forward. No way! Get out of there, Rollins. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I didn't want that to finish that quick. Oh god, Ilya just dome and dom out here. Jerry tried to win this, but Rollins hold it out here. I, I like this. Nice knee. Oh God, Jerry almost got down into the table. Okay, all three tables are down. I can live with this. Ooh, shot to the nuts, attaboy, Dom. Uh-oh. Setting her up. Six, one, nine, connects. Good old fashioned back rake, attaboy, Dom. So Jerry's dead in the ring right now. Dom sent to the outside. Torpedo Moscow by Dragunov. Let's get into the corner. Big shot by Dragunov now. Can he set up the table? Nope, Rollins intercepts. Quick snap, suplex. Or a cross out, just a good old fashioned gut wrench. It's an awful way to take a German. Awful way to take a German. Okay, Ilya, now you're gonna try and set up that table. There it is. Just not getting it, not getting in place here yet. Shot to the back. Rollins counters. Oh God. Rollins wins by putting himself through the table. Oh, damn. Okay. I guess there could be worse picks. The collision detection has a little bit to be desired, but it still gives you a decent result.
But the fact we only saw a couple finishers, I don't know if we're going to get the record we need. Oh, there you go, Rollins. Swing it around. The mighty schlong of the Intercontinental title. Ah! Damn it. Half a star. All right. So hat trick and drag it off. Get to a level two. I can live with that. So we're not going to get the perfect bell curve out of this. By half a freaking star. Poor finale. So we got a level two there. We got a level two there. All right. So we're out by half, uh, half a star. Like we said, if we would have switched this one and this one, we would have been fine. They got good booking. They got a two, a three, a one, a three, a two. WCW's got a one and a one. All right. And ECW again, what's the amazing booking? One, a two, a two, a two. All right. The stuff that counts now. So 112, 47,000 fans. We're back up to 266, so we're doing okay. Made an extra 100, 1,000. Oh, that's ECW. What am I talking about? Ugh, sorry. So ECW got 2762, 266. I forget about this ladder thing. 53 and 357. Jesus, they made a lot. This is where I might be in trouble a little bit. 50,000 and 293. 37. 191. Okay, so we're not horrible right now. But we're not great. Can't wait for JC to get a shot at the women's title. Future star at SmackDown, mine too. Did not want to see Seth freaking Rollins win that championship. Would have preferred to see either Jerry or Dragunov. Okay, that promo by MVP was actually pretty good. JCJ, bless my heart, right there. The line of the night, right at the bottom. Hey, Becky Lynch. <laughs> Yeah, Rollins don't need it. But what am I supposed to do? And then Cora Jade on there enjoyed see Becky Lynch lose. So I did play the story right. All right, let's see how far ahead we are now. We got this health spot three. We're still up by about 25,000 fans. 20, 28,000 fans. Our budget is not compared to what the rest are. And Bischoff still hasn't decided to pick a women's champion yet. So we'll have to see how things go. So as you can tell, as we go through here, if you've been around, we can't save it at this point because if we shut it down now, it'll give us brand new results for our matches. So I do have to continue to the next week. So we get to see what we're looking forward to coming up on Wednesday here. So. Let's take a look what we're getting at on our go home show to backlash. This is war applied. Select opposing to have three randomly select. Yeah. To have three randomly select superstars cannot be booked to matches this week. So I can't use MVP, Dirty Dob, or Ava Moreto. So three people that I don't have matches for attaboy pierce do about a good job here as you are with mcintyre uh. you're not gonna like this but dominic mysterio mvp and ava maria all have to miss the show this week sorry about that all right all right pierce what do you guys say you like that sabotage? That was all me. Strategy, baby. See Santana Garrett and wow, one name I know at least. 
the main problem I have with these kind of shows is scripted American Gladiator kind of. I don't know if that's correct though. If you're saying that, I don't know if uh, I I don't know if Garrett's still there now or not. Because for what I, she's a trainer at the uh, PC now, so. I think you might be watching some classics, which still isn't bad, but. All right. That was completely revoked. You made it, made yourself an eighth. Supposed to be a new episode? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little out to lunch. Never, doesn't surprise me. All right. I'm going to play this one cool. I'm not going to get pissed off. You got to do what you got to do. I'll get my payback one of these days. Psh, we'll see about that. All right. Thanks for the rematch against Carmelo. Told you I'd get the win this time. All right. All right, Bex, what you got for me? I'm really psyched for the upcoming PLE. Can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd. I'm with you. All right, so everything's... So Becky wants to make an appearance at the PLE, which is not going to be a problem. Least popular bruiser is not av is available this week. Plus, we have a new bonus here. Who do, who gets a ring? Gutha and Dragon of our upgraded. <laughs> Let's call this a win. Let's call this a big big win. So. We are going to wrap this up here for today. Uh, just letting you know what we probably are going to have planned going forward here to next week. It's going to be a lot of... Uh, I, I do want to get Geriatric and Ilya Dragunov's feud out of the way here before uh, Jerry's contract runs out. Um, might work on Jaded Slugger a little bit. Cora Jade, Becky Lynch, they're both going to get the night off. They're going to... I'm pretty sure Jade's going to throw a promo at uh, Lynch just to get through that. Scarlet and uh, Ivy might be a focus next week. And we might have a bunch of call out promos next week for the most part. Because look at that stabbing on Carbello. Yeah, <laughs> not good. But yeah, we will get that together. We'll also, we'll probably make a couple sightings here just to tide us through here. And we'll, we'll figure it out on Wednesday, as we always do. So <laughs> Mello needs a day. Mello, I, so, da, so uh, Crowder, I made a very smart move. Because I booked my top female and male heels, or top, uh, top female face and heel to face each other which was jc jade versus becky lynch i actually got a spot a three card so guess who's getting that <laughs> but i don't think guther's gonna be the highlight of the uh paper uh ple as we go along here so but for those on twitch uh stick around here uh we're gonna just wrap up the youtube portion of this video here uh momentarily we can uh, chat a little bit and i'll send you guys off on a raid but for those here on the YouTube channel, please remember, if you get a chance, give us a like, give us a subscribe, tell us which match was your favorite, and uh, what would you do to adjust the booking to make things better, or certain people you want to see on the show, in terms of getting signed or whatever in this, and try and make it a little bit fun here. We do have the trade coming up after the PLE. But with that being said, folks, thank you for stopping by, and always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming Channel. Take care, everybody.